Hello all, this is James Johnson, and I'm a bit fired up right now. I want to talk to you about, well, drama. Yes, drama that revolves in the YouTube world. Um, mainly a YouTuber by the name of Mecha Random 42 but this this goes deeper than just her this delves into Star Trek short film Axanar and its creator Alec Peters which then ties into Bad Robot Paramount and CBS who sued Axanar for being an awesome short film, which then ties into Vic Mignogna, however you say his name, a voice actor who, well, also portrayed a Starfleet captain in other Star Trek fan films as well as many other different anime-type works. But for the purpose of this discussion, his captaining inside of the Star Trek universe is what kind of boils this all together into a big hodgepodge of drama. So, if we go back... To, I think it was 2016 when the short film Prelude to Axanar was released. It was freaking incredible. If you have not seen Prelude to Axanar, you need to go look it up. It's only like 20 some minutes long, and it's the type of Star Trek that, well, every Star Trek fan loves. It's real Star Trek done amazingly right it's the it's the the highest production value fan film ever made in the star trek universe and it had actual uh actors and an actual director and sound stage and all of this stuff um and, and that was part of the problem though it, it did the job so well at a time when Bad Robot and Paramount were making deals with CBS in regards to all access and the creation of the horrible Star Trek we know today as Star Trek Discovery. We couldn't have Prelude to Axanar, which was taking place during the Four Years' War, or the time period before the Enterprise, kind of the same time period in which uh, Star Trek Discovery was set to play, but actually done 100% Star Trek, not on the bad robot license that requires all the Star Trek stuff to be 25% different, because it is a different Star Trek license, and being a different Star Trek license requires a 25% difference in everything Star Trek related for it to be something they can make money off of. Which is a whole other episode, a whole, whole other information. I strongly suggest you go check out Midnight's Edge to find out all about that. Midnight's Edge can get you up to speed on everything related Behind the whole CBS versus Paramount opposing Star Trek licenses, how that happened, how Star Trek got split up when the companies got got split, and yeah, he can run you through all that. But that's not important for this video. This video is something different, and it boils my blood, because Mecha Random here is, well, from this day forward, in my opinion, she's a harpy. I had some respect for her. I, I wouldn't say she was uh, my favorite channel or even, you know. She just happened to be affiliated with channels that I have a lot of respect for, be it Midnight's Edge, 
um, which is a channel, a fabulous channel that I have a lot of respect for. She's affiliated with them. Um, she's gotten help from Doomcock, who's awesome. All hail Lord Doomcock. Um, and she's gotten help from channels like Nerd Rotic, Gary Beekler, um, and so on and so forth. Well, we have the new Axanar YouTube drama forming here. See, there used to be, well, there used to be as of, oh, a couple days ago before I woke up to this crap storm that has been created by this harpy, uh, a fairly solid, unified group of Star Trekies, of, 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 of people who, who care about canon, love Star Trek, who all have a very similar view on the on the uh, regurgitated crap that is Star Trek Discovery. We all know it's crap. Um, yeah. And we all know why it's crap. Midnight Edge has, has explained it all to us, why how the license got split up. We, we know the cause. We know the effect. We don't know how to fix it, but we want it fixed. But everybody was, well... We were all together on that. And now, now we have someone in our happy little corner who wants to break up the unity of all parties. And that is Mecha Random 42, our harpy here. Um, she evidently has some sort of crush on Vic Mignano. Uh, maybe she's really big into anime. I'm looking at her. I'm guessing she is big into anime, and so he's probably her favorite, his her favorite voice of all time or something, in whatever anime she watches. And so she's a big fan of Vic Magnana. Well, I'm a big fan of Alec Peters, the guy who created Axanar. But two people who are not big fans of each other are Vic Magnana and Alec Peters, and there's big reason behind this going back several years now. When Prelude to Axanar, uh, well, when it came out, CBS and Bad Robot took notice, and and they went after Axanar uh, legally, which, well, the fallout that came to all Star Trek um, the whole Star Trek uh, expanded universe, if you will. The people who were making fan films or, or other types of films were all hit like a sledgehammer because of what of Axanar's film. And it wasn't necessarily Axanar's fault, maybe to some small extent. The real fault in the matter is Bad Robot and CBS for being the evil tyrants coming after Axanar in the first place. We all knew what kind of a sham lawsuit it was. We all knew it was a slap in the face of Star Trek fans. But instead of standing firm and together, Vic Mignana, the the uh, captain in, in another... Uh, Star Trek offshoot universe, decided to come out and openly slam Axanar at any moment in time that he possibly could for the following two years, which, obviously, to the chagrin of Alec Peters, uh, was annoying. And so I don't blame Alec Peters for hating Vic Bignana. He's He's a weasel. He's, he's made himself out to be nothing more than a weasel for the Star Trek community for years now with his shady attacks on Axanar, blaming Axanar for everything that happened instead of blaming Bad Robot and CBS for their tyrant-like lawsuit that didn't need to be, and thus then creating new rules on what we can have in a fan film and blah 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 it's cbs's fault that crap happened it's bad robots fault it's paramount's fault it's that whole group that kurtzman group that bad robot group that has caused this crap 
and that they need to be the focus of our ire. But right now, they're not the focus of our ire. Instead, the focus of our ire is something else. It's drama. Mech, Mecha Random has decided to drag us into a Axanar versus Vic Mignana rehash, but she's done it in a very... Um, how do I put this? Uncivilized manner. So she has decided to go on the record against channels that support Ax Axanar. Uh, she's decided to go and post private messaging between her and Alec Peters in discussion about Vic Mignana and Axanar wanting her to basically hop aboard, hop aboard the train, stand united against Vic Mignana um and if and that's 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 the other part of this Vic Bignana has been uh well he's he's accused of being a pedophile um and so he's he's seeing his legal day in court uh and so Alec Peters basically well it's karma right uh Vic Mignogna spent so much time bashing on Axanar and Alec Peters that now the pendulum swings in the other direction and Alec Peters has an opportunity to bash on Vic Mignogna um, for his, well, accusations of being a pedophile. Now, I'm not going to go on record and say that I think Vic is a pedophile. I, I'm not a court of law. I am a Star Trek fan. Who knows one thing? The Prelude to Axanar was a fucking awesome short film. Vic Bignana? Maybe he is a pedophile. As far as I'm concerned, I don't care. Um, if he's going through a witch hunt, as Mecha Random describes, she thinks Vic Mignogna has been unfairly accused. And so when Alec Peters came to her, looking for a sympathetic ear to help mm, drum up support for Axnar and maybe... Uh, Throw some, throw some shad in the direction of Vic. She was like, "Hell no, I I support Vic Mignana, and I don't support any channel that supports Axanar." Well, you know what? I don't care what you support, Miss Harpy. You built up your channel and your subscriptions what is it 24,000 that's it's a fair number and much of that has been thanks to the support of channels who you're now flipping off and giving the bird much of your subscriptions have come from Star Trek fans who should be fully supporting Axanar but you're instead drumming up support for a person abused of child molestation saying that he's the target of a witch hunt and to support your cause you post the private messages between you and Alec Peters on the internet for all to see that's very low that is, in fact, some of the lowest behavior you could partake in. And so I have completely unsubscribed from you, MechaRandom42. And I support everyone to do the same. Do not give this harpy her attention. She doesn't deserve it. 
Star Trek, the Star Trek fan base needs to stand together. And we need to stand together against Paramount, Bad Robot, and CBS. Uh, that, doesn't need to, that doesn't necessarily mean we have to go to war against these guys. I mean, things may align in our favor. Uh, Sherry Redstone may unite the companies. And the board of directors may shut down Star Trek Discovery. And a few years from now, we might get the Star Trek show that we all deserve. Quality Star Trek. But for now, we need to continue to stand together, shoulder to shoulder, and voice our disapproval of crap like Star Trek Discovery, and show support for quality fan made films like Axanar and let's be totally clear Vic Mignogna was throwing his his it was berating Axanar at every moment he could for the last two years he started this fight between Alec Peters and himself he didn't have to what he should have done is stand shoulder to shoulder with Alec Peters against CBS and Bad Robot and Paramount in support of the entire Star Trek universe. No, I don't I don't support Mecha Random's spoiled brat approach to causing up drama and trying to separate the Star Trek fan base it's a bad show it's poor YouTube it needs to stop you need to apologize to Alec Peters for airing your dirty laundry on the internet that's how I feel about this we need to start getting our ducks facing in the proper direction. We need to start taking our ire out in the proper direction. CBS, bad robot. If Vic Mignogna is falsely accused, so be it. The court of law will figure that out. But you shouldn't be posting your private messages on the internet for all to see in regards to a beef, a two-year-old beef between two individuals that's very well known. You're a harpy, and I want nothing to do with you anymore. That's how I feel about that. I'm James Johnson. This is my channel. And this is what I have to say about all of this drama. I stand behind Axanar. I stand behind Alec Roberts. Or Al yeah, I stand with Alec. And I don't care if Vic is guilty or not. I really don't give a crap about him. Other than the fact that he's a little weasel that should have stood up together with all of Star Trek fandom against CBS and Bad Robot. But he didn't. And you, Mechorandom, you're causing a rift. And I don't appreciate it. I think it's a bad show. I think you should take down your videos that are airing your dirty laundry on the internet. It's really unbecoming. It's uncouth. It's not the way civilized people behave. If you want to support Vic Mignogna, fine, support him. But don't trash Axanar in the process. Star Trek fans are smarter. We can see through your harpy deception and lies. So yeah, I don't know what else to say about this issue than this, but this is a very bizarre video for me as it's all around drama. This whole thing is around drama and how I stand in regards to this drama. 
Well, I can clearly say I stand for Star Trek. I stand for good Star Trek, and I stand against Bad Robot and CBS. That's where we should all stand. And this freaking sideshow crap that's going on right now, we don't need it. And that's it. Hopefully you all appreciate this video. If so, leave a like, subscribe, and all that jazz. And until next time, I'm James Johnson, a.k.a. Softblade, and peace.